Hey y'all, it's Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a Saturday night cook with me y'all. So it's Saturday around 10.55 in the morning. So I'm getting these uh, beef ribs marinated. So I'm going to put a dry rub on it and have them marinating for a while until I have to cook them later today. So this is my beef rack right here. And these are some things that I'm using. I have this Grillmates barbecue, this brown sugar one. I have salt, pepper, ground mustard. And this is probably the sauce that I'm going to use, which is slow simmered hickory smoke barbecue sauce. So all I've done so far, I just have a piece of aluminum foil. I have the rib and then I've just put these seasonings on here. I'm actually looking up here in my spice cabinet just to see if I have anything else to use because I'll probably get creative and add some other things. But that's what I have now. And then again, I'm just gonna allow these to marinate and I will see you on the next slide later. Okay y'all, so I didn't show this cause I was in a hurry and we had to run out and take a fellow to the groomers. But I put this in the oven. I seasoned it very well and on 350 but I put this in the oven and I put apple juice at the bottom with one onion cut so this is the stuff right here I just use some regular apple juice and an onion and I put it in here and covered it so it can kind of like steam and I have this so I put it in here for a couple hours and now I'm going to let it finish for just a little bit longer and then I'm going to take the aluminum foil off and cook it um, for at least an hour and a half of the foil off. So this was looking like y'all Look at these so far. Woo! So excited. Okay, so next we're gonna be working on potatoes I decided I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes The ribs are still cooking and I'm gonna do mashed potatoes and I believe Brussels sprouts are either green beans So I just have my water here. I'm about to um, peel these and Okay, so yeah. we're just gonna peel Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Y'all, I'm so excited for these beef ribs. They have been cooking for two and a half, three hours now. It's what, four o'clock? I put it in around, so two hours. Um, or so almost five o'clock, so three hours. So I might, I haven't decided on either maple roasted Brussels sprouts or which I'll probably do that because a lot of people have asked for that recipe. So I might do maple roasted Brussels sprouts instead of uh, green beans, just because that sounds so good. Brussels sprouts sounds so good. Um, fella is still at the groomers. So excited to see what it looks like. Hope he did okay. We're about to chop these up real quick, just for mashed potatoes. Put them in the water. We're not gonna turn that on yet because I'm still, Still gotta wait like an hour and a half because I have to take the aluminum foil off the ribs and then allow it to cook with the barbecue sauce and stuff on it and allow it to cook without being covered up with aluminum foil. So I'm just gonna chop these up. I'm gonna make sure we salt the water really well for the potatoes. Potatoes suck up salt. They just love it. Okay. Also, y'all, we're going to be making some brownies tonight. These I got from Dollar Tree. They're the Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge. And this makes a big pan, 13 by 9. These are so good. These are the, literally the best. Okay, so I just pulled this out of the oven. And now I'm going to cook it without the aluminum foil on there. I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on it as well. We're about to do that. And this is the one I'm going to use. Hickory Smoked. I got this from Dollar Tree. I love Kraft Barbecue. It's pretty darn good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and baste it. This little baster, put a bunch of barbecue on it. Try to get this open, y'all. Gotta open it, open it. If y'all hear that, sorry it's loud. They're watching The Conjuring 2. I know the new Conjuring came out, so Conjuring 3, I believe. We're just gonna pour this on there. Y'all love some barbecue ribs. We're gonna let it cook more. It's already tender, y'all. It's already tender. And I know this isn't a lot because this is all they had at Publix. Cash is working tonight. Sue's so not going to be here. Cayman's not going to be here. She's basically, just going to be me and Kaya. And yeah. Look at this, y'all. See how it's already coming away from the bone? That means it's already getting tender. Look how beautiful. So I'll coat it again. But I'm going to put it in there. Just have to watch it now um, so it doesn't burn. So I'm going to put it back in the oven. So I'm going to get together the Brussels sprouts. I just have a bag of these. I think I got these at Lidl. 
Um, but you can get their like little baby ones. They're so little. So I'm just gonna take the bag of these, rinse them of course, and then we'll cut them. Okay y'all, so the next step, I just wash this out. I'm gonna cook the Brussels sprouts in the air fryer, but you just take the Brussels sprouts after you rinse them, cut the tip off the bottom, the root basically, and then cut it in half. So see the tips off and then just cut in half. And sometimes you lose a leaf or so. It's okay if it opens up. So I'm just gonna cut this one and half it. Okay y'all, so you just cut this part off and cut it down the middle. That's all you do. And this is what it's looking like. Okay, so I have all the Brussels sprouts here, cut, cleaned, halved, Everything is in the air fryer ready to go. Now we're gonna use olive oil, uh, extra virgin olive oil, maple syrup, and salt and pepper. That's all you really need. So we're gonna get started. Just drizzle a good amount of um, olive oil and then you're gonna mix it. It doesn't have to be a good, good amount, but I have a kind of a lot of Brussels sprouts. Then we're gonna do our salt and pepper and a good amount of that. I love pepper, y'all. So it's kind of like a savory, savory sweet dish. And I'm just gonna mix them real quick. And it's okay if some of the leaves like come apart from it, those get crispy when you air fry them. And they're like little chips and they're so good. Like Brussels sprout chips. Then you don't wanna go too heavy handed on the maple syrup. You want a decent amount, but you don't want it, it will, it's good when it's not burnt, but when it gets a nice crisp on it, it does look a little brown. It's really, really good like that. Um, but you just don't want to soak it too much, especially in an air fryer. You want to coat them. And then afterwards, you can drizzle some if you want, but you do want to cook it with it so it has the maple flavor. So let me do that and hopefully it all doesn't soak to the bottom. Now they're all nice and coated. And then we'll start them on the air fryer around um, 360 and move it up to 400. That's what they look like right now. Again, salt, pepper, olive oil, and maple syrup. That's it. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to put it in around 360 and get started. Let's see. All right. I'm going to do this. 360. So I'm going to add garlic to the potatoes when they boil. So it will kind of have like a garlic mashed potato taste. And I, I have fresh garlic, but I'm just going to use this. Um, Trader Joe's mint and garlic, Dollar Tree carries mint and garlic as well. But I'm gonna use some of this while it boils so it has like a little flavor to it. So I'm just gonna put a spoonful in here and I already have salt in there. And then you can also put some butter, but I'm gonna wait to put the butter once I um, start mashing. Potatoes are boiling, that's looking good. And the air fryer, we gotta start. Okay, so it just cut off. Woo, it's already looking good. See how it's looking roasted, y'all? This is what you want it to look like. I'm gonna put it on for just a little bit more. You might not have to put it on 400. I will keep it at 360. It's already done 360 for 15 minutes. I might drizzle a little bit more and you need to shake it around a little bit more maple syrup and go from just there. Just mix it around some more and look how delicious and the brown parts, you want that. I promise you it gets crispy and tastes like a sweet little veggie chip. It's so good. So, so good. Taste it at this point to find out if you need more salt, pepper, if you want it just a little bit sweeter sweeter with maple syrup. If you don't want it sweeter, add just a little bit more olive oil just to keep it going and see if it's soft or crunchy or how you want it. So taste it at this point. Again, this air fryer was on 360 for 15 minutes. Um, and this is the brand of my air fryer. It's on Amazon, if y'all wonder. I love this thing, it's absolutely huge. You could put a whole rotisserie chicken in here. I got the big one. Um, so yes, so taste it here and figure out if you want, again, if you need to add or do what you need to do. Okay, so I'm gonna do another go around with this, but I'm not doing the whole 15. I'm not okay, y'all, I just pulled the ribs out, look at that. Now I'll take it out and you can baste it with some of your sauce. You can add more barbecue sauce to it, oh. My goodness, y'all need to stop. I am so excited for this. So excited for this. Look at these ribs, y'all. Oh, they're gonna be fall off the bone. Literally fall off the bone. Look at the bones down there. Oh my gosh, y'all. Beyond excited. 
So I almost totally forgot about these. We gotta cook these. These are the Jim and Nick's um, barbecue. They're the cheese biscuits. And all you need is an egg, uh, salted butter, cheddar cheese, and a cup of milk. So we're about to make these. Have my little Dollar Tree thing. I need to turn the light on in here. We just got back from picking up Fella from the groomer. So the potatoes got to finish over here for me, but the ribs are done. But we're gonna make these real quick, y'all. So I'm gonna get a um, three-fourths cup of cheddar. It says three-fourths. You can honestly measure until you feel like you need to stop. <laughs> You do three. There we go. Mm, a little bit more. Okay. Three fourths of cheddar. One fresh egg. Let's get a fresh egg right here. And we gotta get some milk. All right, y'all. We're gonna use our butter. And this is actually softened butter because I have a butter dish. But I think it says cut butter into half pieces and cut along. So I'm just, this is four tablespoons. We're gonna do three like it ask. So I have that in. And then we're gonna do how much milk? How much milk? A half a cup of milk. And we're gonna mix. And then we're gonna put these, I think they're like drop biscuits, I believe. Like you just spray mini, oh, it says to spray Oh, I don't have a mini muffin pan. Oh my goodness, where's the thing? So I'll probably just make drop biscuits. Oh man, I didn't realize that. So we'll so see. We're just gonna mix it up. We're just gonna do drop. Ah, but they're supposed to be muffins. But it just says cheese biscuit. I don't know if this is gonna work, y'all. I'm trying to think. Should I just use a regular? So I don't have a mini muffin pan and I think it's too loose of a batter to do drop biscuits. So we're gonna make like a loaf, a small loaf. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spray it with this. Y'all, you gotta, you gotta compromise. So we're gonna work with this. Like, I, I can't believe, honestly, that I don't have a mini muffin pan, but we're gonna use this and make a little loaf and I can cut it up. I'm gonna get it all out, y'all, all out. This is what it looks like. So it won't be very, very tall, but we're gonna put this in the- Drain oven. the potatoes. All right, y'all. I love creamy mashed potatoes. I have my little masher. Um, I only have a little bit of sour cream left, but I love putting sour cream in my mashed potatoes. I literally had a little bit. I don't know who put this in there. I got a little bit of sour cream, no measurements. Cream cheese. I wish I had a block, but I don't. I'm gonna use the rest of what I have. Cream cheese makes your mashed potatoes so creamy. Heavy cream, pour some in. And of course, salt and pepper, because you just drain the water out. A good amount of pepper, you wanna see the pepper flakes in your mashed potatoes. Maybe that's a Southern thing, y'all, but you gotta have your pepper showing in your mashed potatoes or gravy. You know, oh, my salt's almost gone. And then we're gonna start mashing. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna start mashing, if I have to add um, more heavy cream, milk, stuff like that. And of we course you cannot them. forget salted butter. Go ahead and add your salted butter. A tablespoons of butter and let's start mixing again. You want your mashed taters? Mashed taters look like that, y'all. Some good old mashed potatoes. Oh, I love some mashed potatoes. And these are garlic mashed potatoes. You see the black pepper flakes? That's what you need in your mashed potatoes. That's some good old Southern mashed potatoes right there. Y'all, look at this rib. It's tender, yes ma'am. Y'all look how good this is. I've already ate some. Kai's about to have this bite. This is my plate plated up. Do y'all know how excited I am for this? Like, y'all, I'm such a foodie. I love food. This is the rib, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, cheddar muffin mix oh my goodness okay y'all everything is ready so we got our beef ribs y'all got those from Publix and they are so good uh i got the geminix cheddar biscuit cornbread mix it's like a muffin cornbread kind of but it worked in there which is amazing because i didn't have a mini muffin tin we got air fried brussels sprouts maple roasted our maple 
<laughs> air fried Brussels sprouts. And then we have mashed garlic mashed potatoes, homemade garlic mashed potatoes. So this is our Saturday night dinner. Me and Kai are about to get down, y'all. Cash is at work. Cayman's not here. We are about to get down. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're also going to be making brownies, but it's just box brownies, so I'm not going to record that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out your local Publix for some beef ribs. Let them cook all day, y'all. At least a good four hours, five hours. Um, let them cook. It's so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button and hit the bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. Check me out on Instagram, thriftytiffany35, and I will see y'all on my next video.